Hey shooters, uh, here again, uh, Efreda, Washington for the uh, steel, local steel challenge. International Steel Association, it's not really a steel challenge, but it's steel-like. A uh, bunch of fast moving pistol and some 22 rifle. Out of the box, into the holster, onto the match, video review with the SIG P320. Out of the box, nice little holster, except I'm right-handed, it's a left-handed holster, or I'm left-handed, that's a right-handed holster. So the gun, this one I really haven't had an opportunity to dry fire even very much. But if you look at it, it's got, it seems to have a pretty nice, I mean, trigger pull, I haven't weighed it. My guess is it's well over five, probably closer to six pounds. But it's got a very short reset. People are raving about it. I know Bruce Gray is doing some really cool work with it. It's a handsome looking piece. Yeah, the borderline looks high. So what? Let's find out how well it shoots. Today's the day to figure that out. The SIG P320 in 9mm is a full size gun. Uh, I mean, you guys can look on, on spec for all the modularity and the inner, uh, the uh, part that has a serial number on it. It's a modular piece that goes inside. You can change the slides and the barrels and the grip frame and everything else. We're not concerning ourselves with any of that right now. We're just going to go shoot this gun in Steel Challenge. There's the pistol. Here's the holster. And the holster's really weird. I went through my entire holster collection. There is no, there are no uh, rubber grommets in there. I took everything out to make this uh, G21 holster from Blade Tech kind of fit. So my draw might be a little bit compromised, but we don't worry about such things. It's all about the shooting. So uh, G21 holster from Blade Tech with all the spacers removed. And so it's really kind of just a gun bucket. See how it works out. You may load and make ready, sir. First time out of the box, SIG P320. Ah, full mag, 17 rounds. Please hit the targets! Shooter ready. Bet. Stand by. Two, five, niner. Two, five, it is amazingly soft okay, recoil man. impulse. <laughs> I'm surprised. Glad you cracked yourself up. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, zero, one. Three, zero, one. Yep. Pretty nice. Shooter ready. Stand by. I don't know what that was. We'll have to check it out when we get done. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two seven two. Two seven two. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three one seven. Three one seven. Last one. Last one. That was your last one. Sorry, that was your last one. Okay. I'll stand down and come back in. Not bad. First few rounds, but I don't know why I didn't go bang on the one round. But we'll let you know at the end of the video. Thanks, guys. Stand by. Malfunction. Stand by. You actually have to aim at that little target out there. Those little bumps, those are not accessory items, those are called sights. Shooter ready. Stand by. Like that. Three, two, six. Shooter ready. Stand by. Come on, Sig. Interesting, interesting looking stage. Yeah, look at the stage. Crazy looking. Thank you. Okay, you may load. Okay. Stand back, sweets. Work your way around. Put that away. You want to turn that target straight or not? It's up to you. I don't care. <laughs> I can hit him on the side if I can hit him at all. All right. Shooter ready. Bet. Stand by. Four, 
466. Light strikes, craziness. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, two, four. Shooter ready. Stand by. Four, two, four. Get a good grip on it. Stand by. Three, zero, five. Last one. Last one. Stand by. Come on. Shooter ready. Stand by. There it is. Two, seven, six. Ask him if he'd empty a mag if he had the loading. <laughs> exactly. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh, really? La la la, la la la. Stand by. Three, four, zero. Last run! Last run. Stand by. Five, zero, nine. You know, some days I can shoot, some days I can't. But some days you get a gun that doesn't work, work and you just maybe fall into that pit of despair going, is this thing going to run? Is it not going to run? So I didn't run, it didn't run. Maybe the gun's great, maybe it isn't. But uh, we'll do some follow-up. Maybe I'll do a round two with this thing. Cause I want it. I really want it to work. Sig P320. Maybe that's what it is. Thumb this way. Arg. Bummer gun. I had such high hopes for this thing. I wanted to be the coolest gun I ever shot. Well, end of a good day of shooting, Valentine's Day. My Valentine is behind the camera. I'm in front of it. Lucky me. Um, SIG P320. I really, really wanted to love this gun. Uh, a lot of hype. It does feel nice. It does look nice. It seems to shoot adequately, you know, between just, so under, just under two inches to about two and a half inches. But oddly, you'll see some of the photos, it throws the first shot out of the group. Now, first shot syndrome is not unusual amongst autoloaders, but... And maybe it'll shoot out, but I put 300 rounds to the gun today and it's not shooting out. I'm doing my accuracy testing at the end. So I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, earlier in the video, you saw some malfunctions. Uh, yeah, we can attribute that to, to break-in. Maybe. It didn't have any malfunctions during my, my group testing. But the other guns I've tested didn't have any malfunctions. This one did in uh, a stove pipes that we saw in video. And then fails to fire. Uh, primer not being ignited. And we had several of those on the range from other people. It was cold this morning. Now, I don't detail ship and clean the gun. I give it a once over to make sure there's no bore obstructions and I oil it up and I shoot it. Uh, but maybe there was some assembly lube or oil inside the striker because it ran, and now the sun's come out and warmed up a little bit, the gun's been running fine. I'm not trying to make excuses for the pistol, but I want to make sure that I give the, the pistol a fair chance. But the bottom line is, it did have some malfunctions. Um, and, oh yeah, and the uh, not locking back in the last round, completely me. Slide release, slide stop. Big old thumb. Happens to be exactly where like a 1911 safety would be, and that's where my thumb goes. So with my thumb right there, it will never lock back. So no fault of the gun on locking back in the last round. 
Uh, so that's why I was able to prove to myself that it wasn't underpowered ammo, because I took that same sample of ammo and put a bunch of single shots through it, including limp wristing it by the side of my hip, hip shooting it. As long as my thumb wasn't on the, uh, the slide release, uh, the slide lock, uh, I didn't have any issues. So then once broke in, maybe it's going to be fine. It seems to be shooting okay. I really want to love it a lot. It doesn't excite me as much as other guns do. I'm not panning it. I'm just, again, you watch the video out of the box and on the match. Just trying to give you a little summation as to why some of the things we found out did happen. Um, again, I think it puts more few rounds to this gun. I might like it more and more. And I'm also surprised that uh, for the sights being absolutely aligned in the center of the slide, best that I can see, I haven't measured it. Again, out of the box into the match. Uh, it, just, it shoots decidedly to the right. And as several other people shoot it, and they found the same things out. Um, so it shows the first shot out of the group uh, under testing. It generally groups to the right. Uh, again, I'm surprised for an out-of-the-box SIG, SIG quality pistol. But there you have it. Pretty neat gun. Uh, you might want to check it out. Uh, I just think it's video number four or five in my series. Uh, so far, this has performed the least well. <laughs> How's that for a, a really uh, uh, balanced answer? It's not a bad gun. It's not a good gun. It's just okay. Well, you saw the video. Maybe the next one, it could, this could be a Monday-Friday gun. Who knows? But, uh, there you have it. There's the information as I've seen it. Take a look at the slides that show you the accuracy and do a little slow-mo with it. It does seem very controllable. It, I did remark right away that it seems soft shooting. But again, as much as I wanted to love it, I don't. And for me, that says a lot. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your comments. Um, this may never be the biggest channel on YouTube, but my goal really is to bring you the, the buying public, this is what the gun does in my hands under match conditions. So again, thank you very much for watching. Talk to you guys later.